question number 20th it says a box of length 22 centimeter and mass 100 gram rest on a horizontal frictionless flow a small bead of mass 10 gram is placed at the center of the bottom of this box there is no friction between the bead and the bottom of the box the bead is projected with velocity 11 centimeter per second parallel to the length of the box if all the collisions are perfectly elastic we need to find the displacement of the box in a time interval of 60 second after the bead was projected so this is the picture in which picture in this picture this floor is frictionless and this is the box there is a bead at the center and we are giving the velocity 10 centimeter per second uh, to the bead let's say we are giving the velocity in the positive x direction that is i cap and we are considering this right word as a positive x direction so uh, let's proceed in the manner the solution has been written so let's consider the box and the bead together this entire story together as a system then we will say in this in the system that consists of box and bead they are going to collide there's going to be internal forces acting but if you look carefully in the horizontal direction there's going to be no force coming in externally why because friction is absent and whatever the force during the collisions are going to be they are going to be internal right so we can claim that the linear momentum is conserved conserved in the horizontal direction which equally means the center of mass velocity will remain unchanged or constant so we can find the center of mass velocity in the x direction and that's going to be or in totality we can say because there is no motion in the vertical direction so center of mass velocity in totality is going to be m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the initial velocity i'm talking about right initially this uh, box which is of 100 gram is what has raised so that's velocity is zero and initially this bead of mass 10 gram has a velocity 10, 11 centimeter per second and uh, i'm considering to positive x direction so i cap so this turned out to be uh, one centimeter per second in the positive x direction. That means the center of mass of this entire stuff will keep on moving in the rightward direction with one centimeter per second. Now further, it says as the collisions are perfectly elastic, so we can claim that the velocity of separation and velocity of approaches are going to be identical because coefficient of restitution, which is the ratio of these two velocities, is one, right? So they are identical. And what is the going to be the velocity of separation or velocity of approach then you'll find initially uh, this bead was moving towards right with a velocity 10, 11 meter 11 centimeter per second and this box wall was uh, at rest so the rel the relative velocity of uh, approach was 11 centimeter per second so if initially it was 11 centimeter per second so mm, forever it's going to remain the same because perfectly elastic collision is uh, given in the equation itself right now considering this initial situation as t equal to zero time and then we will be uh, able to say when uh, at what time the collisions are going to take place so you'll find this bead is moving with 11 centimeter per second and this was at mid so this half of the distance is going to be 22 by 2 that is 11 centimeter and this approach velocity is 11 centimeter per second so you'll find in one second the first collision is going to take place so first collision is going to take place at 11 centimeter divided by 11 centimeter per second that means one second then after uh, the bead has to return back and this box will be moving maybe rightwards so uh, uh, to take the collision again uh, the relative distance has to be covered is 22 centimeter and the relative velocity of approach is or separation is 11 centimeter per second that means it will take two seconds to collide uh, this bead with the box wall so that means we can say after every two seconds there's going to be collision taking place after every two second uh, is going to be a new collision taking place after this first collision right so second collision is going to take place uh, after two seconds so starting from if we are missing the time from starting so that was the one second then the next collision will be at three seconds for the Further, next collision is going to be at 5 seconds, next collision is going to be 7 seconds, and this will keep on going. So you can generalize, n at collision is going to take place at t equal to n time, which is going to be 2n minus 1 second, where n is written as 1, 2, 3, 4, these kind of numbers, that's in positive integers, right? So when we place n equal to 1, then you find this, we will get 1 second, when we place n equal to 2, we'll get uh, 3 seconds, and similarly, so on. 
Now, how long we are going to think about this or discuss about this? We need to find the displacement uh, in the time interval of 60 seconds, right? So if we keep on moving like 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So before, just before 60, we need to get this 59 second. So this 59 is going to be odd number and that will be achieved when n is equal to 30. So if we substitute n equal to 30, we will get 59 second. That means 30th collision is going to take place at t equal to 59 second. So if it is taking uh, 59 second to have this 30th collision, then what is going to happen at uh, 60th second? So at 60th second, we will say um, there will be one second after the collision. Whenever there is going to be collision, the bead has to be at one of these corner uh, edges, right? Either on the right side or on the left side. And it will have one more second to cover uh, to get the 60 second, right? So in one second, it will be covering, uh, uh, since it is moving with uh, relative separation or approach is 11 centimeter per second. So in one second, it will be traveling uh, uh, this 11 centimeter, right? So ultimately, this bead is going to come at the center point. So we will say the bead will be located at the center of the bottom of the box when time becomes 60 second. So one thing is guaranteed at t equal to zero, at t equal to zero, bead was at the center and of the this bottom and at 60 second also the bead is going to be at the bottom of the center. So if we look at the center of mass location, so center of mass location at t equal to zero was at the center. And then at t equal to 60, the again center of mass is going to be at the center. Now I haven't drawn the direction of velocities of this bead and this box at t equal to 60 time second. Uh, they may be uh, here and there, but one thing is guaranteed the center of mass will be moving with one centimeter per second. So center of mass will be moving towards right with one cent VCM velocity, which was starting from the starting itself. And at a starting, uh, I have assumed the bead to be moving in this direction. So this arrow has been shown. So we can say the center of mass displaces from this location to this location. So this is uh, axiom that means displacement of the center of mass and since the center of mass location initially was at the center of the box and finally is also at the center of the box that means this is also the displacement of the box itself because the question is asking about the displacement of the box so displacement of the box is going to be same as the displacement of the center of mass at t equal to 60 second and we know the displacement of the center of mass is going to be the center of mass velocity into the time that we are taking so VCM into T, VCM is one centimeter per second, T is 60 seconds, so overall it turned out to be 60 centimeter. That means the center of mass will be shifting by 60 centimeter, hence this box 40 equal to 60 second will have a displacement equal to 60 centimeter. That's how this will become our final answer. Okay, that's all. Thank you.